So I kind of just wanted to chat about what the Lord did throughout um, the week at uh, in San Marcos at Texas State. Um, I think one of the biggest things that I saw the Lord do was just chase down people. His pursuit of people um, just was so orchestrated um, by him that it just was like crazy. Like there, it went beyond the things that we plan and planned and um, just had scheduled. Um, and so that was a really cool thing to watch just the way that um, the gospel was spoken to people who probably have never heard the gospel. Um, and yeah, and so just people chasing down people in the name of Jesus and um, sharing the non-distorted gospel, because I think at Texas State, um, they get a lot of, uh, just like, there, are, there's a lot of hurt people um, on that campus who have heard a distorted gospel. And um, and so I've, I saw... Um, just God chased down those people. And, um, and so that was one of the ways I saw the Lord move was just his pursuit of people in crazy ways. Um, something that the Lord did in my heart was just deepening dependence on the spirit moment by moment. What does it look like to abide in the spirit moment by moment? What are the words I say to someone who's hurt and who's heard maybe a fracture of the gospel but not the full thing and thinks that I'm like gonna invite them into a cult like what do I say how do I like you know like just deepening my dependence on God's word knowing that it doesn't return void um knowing that when his word is spoken it does not return void um and trusting that I can leave and trust God's word in that moment in in that person's life um and yeah so just deepening my reliance on the spirit was something that he did in my life